In this video, we're going to have a look at the Polar Fire SOC bare metal project structure. To begin, we will give an overview of the bare metal project structure. Then, we will have an in depth explanation of the boards folder. And finally, we will break down each of the subfolders in the boards directory. In a Polar Fire SOC bare metal project, there is the platform layer and the platform configuration layer. The platform layer contains low level software, which consists of the startup code, the hardware abstraction layer, and the peripheral drivers. Secondly, in the platform configuration layer, there are the source files that are generated from the MSS XML document by configuration software to suit the target board. Here we can see the bare metal project structure. Inside of the source folder, there is a platform folder to represent the platform layer. This contains the driver source, the hardware abstraction layer code, and other configuration files. Also inside of the source folder, in the boards folder, you can have multiple subfolders. Here we have one setup already called Icicle Kit ES. In here we have the platform configuration to represent the platform layer. This folder will contain the custom files for this design. As mentioned previously, the boards folder can contain one or more subfolders. Each subfolder represents a development board, a project configuration, or an SOC FPGA design. For example, on the right hand side, you can see there is an Icicle Kit ES folder, which represents the default Icicle Kit development board configuration. You can also have other custom configurations, for example, My Icicle Kit configuration. Inside of the board folder, you must have an FPGA design subfolder and an FPGA design config subfolder. Optionally, you can have a platform config folder to further customize your design. The first mandatory subfolder is the FPGA design folder. This contains the configuration files related to the SOC FPGA design. This folder contains an XML subfolder called Design Description. The Design Description folder contains the MSS configuration description file in XML format, which is generated by the MSS configurator. The XML is used to generate header files required by the hardware abstraction layer to configure the SOC. This must be in sync with the latest SOC FPGA design. We can use the standalone MSS configurator or the MSS configurator included in Libero to generate this XML file. Next, let's break down these subfolders of the boards folder. The contents of the FPGA Design Config folder is auto-generated by the configuration software. It contains the header files that are described in the configuration of the PolarFire SOC MSS and it is used by the hardware to configure PolarFire SOC at startup. For example, the clocks, the IOs, the DDR configuration, etc. Finally, we have the Platform Config subfolder. This is only required if the default platform configuration needs tuning to best suit the project's application. For example, if you want to customize a reference linker script or you want to modify the default hardware configuration, such as disabling a subset of the RISC-V hearts in the project. If you do this, the disabled hearts will go to wait for interrupt mode when they are unused. You might want to do this if you disable heart 0 to allow the HSS to run in that particular heart, or if you are in an AMP build and you want a specific heart to be running another application. 